Next, we're going to talk about dimensioning. Dimensioning is used to control the size of our sketch. In the sketch, we're going to use the Smart Dimension tool. If we look at the Smart Dimension tool, we see that there is a down arrow that indicates there are some other available dimensioning tools. We're only going to be addressing the Smart Dimension tool. It is the most convenient and works for most all situations. There's two ways to use the Smart Dimensioning tool. We're going to click on Smart Dimension, and I have drawn a sketch up here, an H, if you will, and I want to set the height of this H. The one way that we can do that is if we click on this line right here, the length of that line defines the height of my part. So if I click on that, the Smart Dimension will say, there is my height. I can click that down. It'll ask me to modify that. If I know the dimension, I can add it right now, but this is a parametric parameter. We can just take the default and change it later if we like. In this case, I'm going to change it to 2.5 and I'm going to hit enter. That's going to set my dimension. So the second way to use this tool is to dimension the width. Now this width, I don't have a given line that I can dimension. So what I'm going to have to do is select two lines. I'm going to select this first line. Smart Dimension is going to say, do you want the height or the length of that line? Well, I'm that's not the dimension that I want. That's the location that I want the dimension to start. My other ending location is going to be this other line. You can see that the line highlights. I can then click on that line. Smart Dimension automatically switches and says, oh, this is the dimension that you're interested in. And I can click that down and say, yep. In this case, I'm going to change that dimension to 2.0. I'm going to change that right there. So those are the two ways that we can use our Smart Dimensioning tool. If I want to go back and change these, I can, I can hit Escape to deselect. Now with my dimension, I can hover over it, double click on it. It will bring up my Modify box and I can change that to be 2.5 or whatever other dimension I would like. And it will automatically change that part. Hit Escape to deselect. One thing that you'll notice on your sketches as you start to use them is that there's two different colors that we see here of the lines. We have black lines and we have blue lines. And what that shows is that the black lines are elements that are fully dimensioned. That means that there's enough dimension or relationships in there to define where those lines or elements need to be. The blue ones don't have enough information. So if I, the blue one here, I could take this line and you can see I can actually move it. So I don't have a dimension controlling that height or that depth of that section. Same thing here. I don't have a, a dimension controlling that. I can grab this line and show that I don't have a dimension controlling that. So what I need to do to get rid of the blue lines is to add more dimensions. And the way that I'm going to do that is I will just do that quickly on this part. And I'm going to just do a smart dimension. And since I could move this section up and down, I'm going to dimension from this line to the top surface right there. I want to make that a certain height. So I'm going to make that 0.75 inches. Now that line turned black. Now I'm going to do the same thing down here. From there to there is going to be 0.75 inches. Now I just need to define this width. So in this case, I'm going to define from here to here. Let's make that one inch wide. And now I need to define this line is blue. So I need to define from here to this point. And I'll make that 0.625. All of the other lines have turned black. That means my sketch is fully defined and I don't need any more dimensions. One of the other things that you might do is you might be looking at this and you'll say, oh, I need one more dimension, this overall height. And you're going to come into Smart Dimension and you're going to click on this line. And you're going to say, okay, I need that dimension. You're going to click it. And it's going to give you this warning. And it's going to say, make dimension driven. What this box means is you have put two dimensions on the same dimension, meaning I have this dimension I just added, but I also have the height that I added previously. And what it's saying is that we can't have two dimensions driving the height of this part, because if we change one, the other one will be different. We can't make that height two different dimensions at the same time. So it says, do you want to keep this driven or do you want to make it driving? Well, what that really means is let's delete that dimension off 
and we're going to not need it. So in this case, I'm just going to say cancel and remove that dimension. 